guys, welcome back to number four of our series. Today we have spaghetti with beef and sauce. Let's check out what we got inside of this thing. Check that out. First attempt. Again, looks like we have more Ameripol action going on. Here's Sherman behind me. Shaking, making sure that you guys know that he is still kicking and around. And just to double check, that is everything out of the bag. What we got here. This is the spaghetti with beef and sauce. And this is the heating sleeve that it comes with. It can, you can see the nutrition facts, the weight, and of course the ingredients, which I will scroll down at the bottom. And again, this one says packed for Sapaco. Some strawberry jam. Raisins. Milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. Our spoon. Flameless ration heater. Our accessory packet. We'll take a look at that in a second. Some peanut butter. I have never seen one that looked like this. This is a frosted brown sugar cinnamon toaster pastry. It just looked more like crackers initially. And some multi-grain snack bread, I guess, we could use for breadsticks. Let's take a look at this. And inside of this, we get a beverage powder, raspberry type 3. Some salt, TP, moist towelette, and some gum. Seems like this would have been a great opportunity to add some, like, crushed red pepper, some Tabasco, something to zip this thing up because if this is bland it's going to need help they don't even give you salt but don't you worry if it needs something we are going to gun dog it up well let's get stuff heated up and the drinks made and today we'll go back in time and we will use our frh and one thing i was going to do i was going to put some hot water inside of this because this calls for six ounces of water you know and granted you would want to heat up your water and this is the one ration that does not come with a hot beverage bag. So I happen to snipe one of these from another one. So let's fill out this up with water, get this inside the FRH, and let's start cooking. And I always get asked, what's the purpose of adding salt? Well, it's actually the sodium or the salt water solution that starts the exothermic reaction. So we'll put a little bit in there. And this just kind of hedges our bets. It increases our odds to get a good hot reaction out of these FRHs. And yet you can see I haven't put anything inside of here yet because I am making sure that this pad gets all immersed because it is going to take it just a little bit of time before it starts rocking and rolling. And the reason why it calls for a rock or something because if you lay it flat of course your water starts running out. And these call for 20 ounces of water, but all I got is a 12 ounce glass, so this is what is going to have to work. Reason I like these so much is, geez, look at that. Okay, there it is in there. And the reason I like these things so much is they're designed just to be dumped directly into a 16 or 20 ounce bottle of water. The one thing I don't like about this, this dye, this red number 40 or whatever they use, it will stain plastic. So be cautious if you're using plastic. And while we're waiting, let's get everything else onto the tray. <sighs> Gotta love it. Got to love it. Crumbled toaster pastry. It looks like mold on there. Hmm. Well, it's exactly what it looks like. So I think we are going to uh, eliminate that. I have to dig through my stash and see if I can find another one of those. Well, of course, whenever you need something, you can't find it. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with this peanut butter and jelly. 
<laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe put it on my toaster pastry, but, well, <clears throat> these things happen. Well, I can honestly say I'm not very thrilled with my flameless ration heater. It's not exactly heating everything up to specs that I am used to, especially using those barrel coke and those Chilean uh, heating elements. So I think what I'm going to have to do, I think I'll eventually have to revisit uh, testing the different types of heaters. I know our friend Rocky Rab from MREinfo.com, he is planning on putting on an FRH clinic at that meetup that they're going to have at MRE Nation at Simpsonville. So that should be very interesting to watch because Rocky Rab is a magician when it comes to FRHs. In case in point, I just happened to find a Chilean ration heater. Look at the element of that and look at this little flat little sad thing that's inside of these US ones. You can definitely see the difference of the heating power of these elements. And when I get asked, how come other countries don't have FRHs? Because some work and just some just downright suck. Well, we'll see what this thing did. It has been 15 minutes and I just don't want to wait any longer screwing around. Pour the water out. It's kind of lukewarm. Not too bad. I'm going to leave the main inside because now we're going to have to be magicians again because I have to figure out how to get this lukewarm water into our cocoa beverage powder without spilling all over the place. Well, that actually wasn't that bad. Let's give this thing a shape. Don't look too bad. Smells pretty good too. However, one thing is looking for the new menus for 2020. Looks like the cocoa beverage powder is going to be eliminated once and for all. Uh, this is kind of warm. It gets warm on the bottom, but it's cold on the top. So you kind of have to mix it up just a little bit. One side is warm and the other side is kind of cold because it wasn't facing the heating element. Jeez. Hands are a little wet. See, and there's spaghetti. This was always one of the favorite ones when I was in. And not necessarily for the spaghetti, just because it was one of the few rations that actually came with M&Ms way, way back in the 80s and 90s. Man, that sounds weird to say that. Way back in the California days, yes sir, yep, yep, so here we go. This definitely needs some Tabasco sauce. It's definitely going to, but unfortunately, this ration doesn't come with it. And I would put some on, but Casey, just for you out there, I am not going to put anything that doesn't come with a ration on this food today, just for you. All right, so let's try our pseudo spaghetti. All aboard the train to Blandsville. Woo woo! Man, this is <laughs> right out of like a can of like Chef Boy RD or something like that. So it, it's not too mega wonderful. It definitely needs a heat kick. Fortunately, the only thing that I have to add to this is some salt, which, yes, it will help some of the blandness. But even the tomato sauce is just very, very light. The meat just crumbles apart. It's definitely over-processed and these noodles are cooked beyond all recognition and they're nice and short for digestive purposes. The salt definitely helps but man it really needs that heat. It needs that Tabasco or it needs that red pepper flake to make that really happy. I'm quite sure it would have went great with that multi-grain wheat snack bread. But, like I said, I, I believe that was mold, and yeah, that wasn't passing through these lips of mine. I'm going to take another bite of this spaghetti. And this is another benefit that if, for those countries that cook with mess kits, because if you were cooking this inside of a mess kit over like a hexamine burner or, or whatever alcohol stove, 
you could throw some of your raisins inside of there to help kind of absorb maybe a little bit of water or if you got some, some of those little olive oil packets and just kind of make this thing taste good. Now, granted, it is army food. It's low cost. It's designed just to be shove it down your mouth and taste it later. But it is what it is. Let's try this uh, cocoa beverage powder. Mm. It's got that sweet chocolatey taste. Like I said, the water was lukewarm at best and it's cooling down as it was sitting there, but it still has that little hint of warmness, which would be greatly appreciated when you have radio watch or you're sitting at OP at 2 o'clock in the morning trying to stay awake. I almost wish they gave us cheese instead of peanut butter and jelly, especially now that I don't have that. Let's try some of these raisins. They're nice and fresh. They're still plump. They're juicy. They don't have like that little gritty graininess to them because they've been sitting around. I'm going to take just a few of these, plop them over here just so I can try it or say that we did it. Because maybe the sweetness from these raisins and that little bit of extra bite might turn this around. It does work. The sweetness does help, but it just gives it a really weird kind of chewy effect. So that might not necessarily work too well. Then we've got our toaster pastry. I'm going to break this in half because, like I said, I'm going to do something with that PB&J. This is brown sugar cinnamon, something like that. Wow, that's definitely sweet after, after Blendsville over here. Well, I'm going to give these a quick little knead and we'll put it on this one. And we'll start off with a peanut butter, maybe. Sometimes you fold these things in half, it helps get more pressure. Just like that. And then some of our strawberry jam. What the heck? Here we go. I'm quite sure this is going to be sugar rush overload, because this is already incredibly sweet as it is. Interesting enough, man, the peanut butter kind of tempers that cinnamon flavor, which is kind of, mmm, it's got that, hello, I'm here kind of power to it. So that really gets tempered by the peanut butter. And then the strawberry jam is just very sweet and subtle, and it just kind of mixes with the peanut butter, and you get that crunch of the actual pastry, or Pop-Tart. That's actually not that bad. However, I'm quite sure you would definitely get a sugar crash after it eating something like this. And then we've got our raspberry beverage. It is very dark because it's not diluted with the proper amount of water. It needs at least another eight ounces. And it's very strong and concentrated for that very same reason. And like I said, anything that stains plastic, you really should be consider concerned about what it's doing to your actual insides as well. My gum, I always save this for when I'm editing these videos, so that is when I will try that. Well, everybody, this was menu number four of our 2018 Case A and B series, spaghetti with beef and sauce. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you all on my next review. Bye.